So, like I said, a couple of stuff coming down. A couple of things. A couple of stuff. Oh, my God. Mercury retrograde. Great. 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 Oh, my God. Dobrovenche. Dobroveche, Divine Pisces 222. It is Friday, October 8th, 2021. So, yeah, I did take a little bit of a break from YouTube, guys. I had to. It was a bit of a drain on my energy. Um, I was getting getting ready basically for my my own reset as it were on the types of products that I'm offering coaching services things like that I'm also going to be redoing my content um, and maybe I will continue to do some sort of readings guys but I need to move away from the twin flame stuff okay so uh, before I get started on all of that, though, I'm going to go ahead and announce the winner for the YouTube contest. That was actually like number 36, which was Mickey Willow. So Mickey, if you could send me an email, Sasha at Divine Pisces 222.com, uh, you can claim your free mini reading. OK, so yay. Congratulations, Mickey. Um, but yeah, a couple announcements, guys. So October 29th, I will be doing a live discussion. It's a private YouTube uh, event that I will be hosting, uh, talking about releasing abusive cycles and trauma, okay? Um, and if you are a member of my soul fam, which is totally free to sign up, guys, no catch there. Totally free to sign up for my soul family. Uh, you actually do get free entry. Now, you still have to sign up for the event. So you still have to go to the event, use your... Your plan, the, the Soul Family plan, to purchase a ticket, which will make it free, okay? If you're not a member, it's $22. All right, it'll be about an hour long, and we'll have a Q&A at the very, very end. I will be hosting more of these things, uh, things like this, coming uh, very, very near future, actually, okay? I also am going to be starting a podcast that I will be doing bi-weekly, bi semi-monthly, clear, um, that I will be hosting on um, Patreon. So information will come available as, as that kind of rolls out. I'll still be utilizing YouTube uh, to maybe do snippets of my podcast, free things, uh, events, uh, clearing sessions, and things like that. And every now and then, you know, like I said, maybe a reading or two every now and then. Um, I also hope to eventually post a master class as well. I will be rolling out a couple of very, very interesting things coming very soon, including an online course that I've been talking about doing for a really long time on energy healing. It's not a certification class. It's literally on different types of energy healing, how to incorporate it into your online business if you have one, uh, which one is right for you, so on and so forth. It'll be like a three module course and I'm really excited about that. Hope to roll that out before the end of the year. Um, and also I'm just going to be changing and shifting, uh, the surfaces that I offer and the things that I do also. Okay. Uh, I am taking actively taking clients at the moment. I have about two or three more clients I can take on. All right. For my mentor program, my spotlight initiative, or for coaching and healing services long-term my programs, uh, they run, um, my long-term programs range from about six weeks all the way up to six months, depending on what you're needing and uh, the free consultations really. So you can sit with, sit down with me. Let's talk. Let's see what you actually need. If you know, my services are even a good fit for you in the first place. Um, you know, and then basically I literally tailor the, the actual package itself or the program itself around you once we actually get started and what you're actually needing focused on. Okay. Cause there's no one size fits all when it comes to this kind of stuff, guys. Like my mission really now is moving more toward, again, self-empowerment. Like this is where it's at. This Self-empowerment is the root. Okay, once you're in self-empowerment, once you take responsibility for yourself, that's when you manifest your things. That's when the things come to you. That's when you manifest your abundance, so on and so forth. Coming out of victim mentality, coming out of obsession and things like that. It's one of the reasons why I'm moving away from the twin flame stuff. And I think might actually be like the first episode on podcast is going to be talking about why, why I'm walking away from the twin flame stuff okay uh those of you who are still stuck in this twin flame matrix kind of thing 
Guys, I'm here to help. This is what I'm here to do. Um, the longer you stay in obsession about somebody who doesn't want you, the longer you stay in obsession about someone, and let me just let me just make this clear. And this, this, oh, this broke my heart. Uh, I just uh, got off a of, um, free consultation with a client, and um, I'm so happy to be helping her. But she brought us something that was really disturbing for me, and it's something that I've seen that I've really actually wanted to speak to, and I'll be doing like a free discussion on it. But guys, I want to touch on it real quick for you, okay? There are people out there who claim to be quote unquote twin flame, twin flame coaches. They will promise you, quote unquote, to get you your person back, quote unquote. And she was telling me this horrendous experience she had where she continuously was being told by this person to tell, keep paying her, keep paying her, keep paying her. And that she kept promising to bring her person. Guess what? It never happened. Who knows how much money she actually ended up spending on somebody who was just telling her what she wanted to hear. Guys, come on. Those of you who've been following me for a long time, tell you, I will tell. I tell. I am. I don't sugarcoat stuff because I can't stand it. Number one, I don't like somebody sugarcoating for me. Just tell me straight up. I don't need the mind games. Be careful. Be careful where you put your money, your energy, your time. There are people out there that are preying on people who are stuck in this twin flame matrix obsession shit. It's shit. It's bullshit. Okay? I mean, there are people who have been taken advantage of through this thing. And, and, and you know, I'm sorry to say I'm probably one of those people. And let me tell you something. I've been there, done that, and I'm not judging. But there are people out there that are preying on you if you're vulnerable. Please understand that. I will not prey on you. <laughs> that is not what I'm here to do. Okay? In fact, the idea of preying on somebody who's vulnerable makes me feel like I'm going to throw up. Why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this now, guys, because as as we get deeper and deeper and deeper into this next phase of whatever's going to happen, let me tell you, there's something there's something else is coming. I don't know what it is, but there's something else coming. Okay. There are going to be more and more people out there who are just preying on those who are vulnerable, who are feeling scared, who are feeling vulnerable, so on and so forth. Okay? Just be careful, guys. That's, that's all. That's really all. That's really it. Okay. Um, also, Wine and Divine is open. So my next group, my next group of Wine and Divine starts on the 23rd of October. Yay! Uh, guys, it's super fun. It's $55. You get five two-hour sessions every two weeks with a group of your peers. We get together, sit down for two hours. We just shoot the shit. Like, we don't even talk about doing flame stuff. Sometimes we don't even talk about spiritual stuff. We literally just get together. We laugh. We have fun. You don't even have to drink wine. It's really not necessary. You know, uh, in fact, a couple of us were crocheting on our last meeting. You know, so we just get together and we talk about stuff. We release the load. We just get stuff off our chest. It's just a nice, nice group of of just whatever. You feel safe. It's not recorded. You know, there's nothing. There's no catches, guys. So just sign up. Guys, it's super fun. Um, And yeah, so that's starting soon. So like I said, a couple of stuff coming down. A couple of things. A couple of stuff. Oh, my God. Mercury retrograde. Great, 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 great. Oh my God, Mercury retrograde. Can we talk about it for a second? Because this this particular Mercury retrograde has been absolutely horrible. I can't get any senses. <laughs> uh, tell me in the comments how your Mercury retrograde has been going because <laughs> guys, I literally saw a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> I was driving home with my daughter, I picked her up from daycare. I was driving home and I saw a woman just walking backwards in stride as if it was literally like she was walking forwards but somebody hit the rewind button and she was just walking backwards in stride no one around her it wasn't like she was messing around she was holding a bag no one else seemed to notice that she was just walking backwards i had to do a double take I was... she's she glitched Anyway, so if anybody, if you guys, if you you guys have seen or experienced anything like that, please let me know because that's hilarious to me. I think it's funny. Um, all right, so I'm gonna start with overall energies. I'm gonna do this this reading a little bit differently, so just roll with it. All right. So right now, yeah, past life excavation, absolutely. That's that's it's literally like a portal is opening. That's what I said. Like when I saw this one more, I was like, there's a portal coming. There's there's a portal opening right now. Like we are literally. Some of us are actually. Um. Uh, that's the word I'm like merging timelines, which can be very painful. Some of us are uh, shifting into a different timeline. 
Uh, some of you, it's it's like you have a timeline portal opening, meaning you can you can jump, right? You have you have like a quantum leap. You can either go one way or the other. So uh, right now, that's that's what's happening. And 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 guys, just just trust yourself right now. That's the only thing you can do because what you're seeing right now, you can't believe. You just can't right now. You cannot believe what you're seeing because it's not aligning. Uh, with what you know that, that seems to be what's happening in the collective it's like a cognitive dissonance where your current belief systems aren't matching what you're actually seeing okay um yeah spiritual protection some of you are being protected to the point where it's like people are falling away from you um you didn't get that job it was probably a reason why you didn't get that job so on and so forth so don't look at don't be in victim mode that's another thing that's that's coming through for my mission right now is helping people get out of victim mode because being in victim mode oh, trust me it doesn't do anything for you nothing nothing gets done okay what, what happens you end up in a like a very vulnerable state and people use that everybody wants to be a victim now that that is where it's at being a victim for some reason gives you some sort of like sick twisted narcissistic power okay and then you have the people who truly believe they're victims and they're constantly in this cycle over and over again and those are the ones that the narcissists take advantage of stop get out of it book a consultation with me i'll help you okay but right now it's like you're needing to see the things that are happening to you are not happening to you. They're happening for you. And then there's a reason they're happening. And eventually you get down the road. You're going to remember, you're going to remember that something's going to happen. You're going to go, Oh, that's why I didn't get that job. Or that's why whatever. Okay. Yeah. So guys, just let it go. Like it, we're being urged right now to just, just let it go guys. Just let it go. Let, let things happen. Just let things take their course. Stop trying to control everything around you because you can't. You can only control you. That's the only thing you can control. Release the stuff you can't. Release the stuff. Get it. I'm going to repeat. Release the stuff you can't control and focus on what you can control, which is you. Take control of you. Okay? So many of you are still stuck in this, like, um, say, call it dark night of the soul, but it's really like a regret energy. Like all these things are falling away. All these people are falling away. All these things are happening too. And so you kind of get into this little dark energy of what's wrong with me? Why is nobody like me? So on and so forth. The people that are falling away from you because you're going through ascension or the people, the people are falling away from you because they think you're crazy because of what you're going through. You don't need to dim yourself for them. They'll figure it out eventually, or maybe they won't. Who cares? Okay. Focus on you right now. Focus on you right now, okay? The earth, in a way, is going through a massive, massive purge. We are purging as a, as a society. We are purging as, as earth. Literally is like karmic cycles ending, as it were, really. I mean, the constant cycle of humanity, and if you look at it, this is totally true. The, the constant cycle and the, the karmic cycle of humanity really is about control and domination, don't care what race you are. Don't care what gender you are. It is about control as far as humanity. Human race. Humanity. Let me repeat. Humanity is about dominance and control. And you can go through history. You can do whatever. And I am a student of history. I will throw out your history facts like that. So, you know, if you want to have a discussion, that's awesome. I love, love talking about history. But, but the reason it's so important to know your history is so you don't repeat it. But we have repeated the cycle over and over and over again. We never learn. We don't learn. <laughs> every civilization, every society who has attempted to control or dominate its people or free will has failed. Utterly failed. Period. We are at a crossroads right now, guys, as a humanity, as a human race, as whatever we are at the end of the cycle. This is why you're recognizing the cycles that have been happening because we are at, we are at a pinnacle point in our cycle. We can change this. We can cut it off. We can say no. Will you choose to? Or will you choose to let it perpetuate? Because it's safer. Devil you know versus the devil you don't know. Take it as it resonates, guys. All right, I'm going to look at the femme energy first today, okay? <laughs> Time for a nap. Yeah, femme, you need to take a break. Girl, you have been going. Girl, guy, whatever, it doesn't matter. And this could be your inner feminine. Um, this could be whatever, you know, when I talk about this, it can be the inner energies. It can be 
about your person. I don't care. Just take it as it resonates. What I'm telling you right now is femme, you have really kind of been overexerting yourself. You've been overthinking. You've been trying to control things around you that you, you don't need to worry about. Some of you, some of you have been still stressed out about your person and you just look, 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 whether you're with your person or not, it doesn't matter. Um, some of you just, just, just let it go for, for a minute. Okay. Acceptance, acceptance. Okay. Acceptance, even if just for today may help to release some of your burdens, give yourself a break, give yourself a break. And some of you it's, it's, this is actually, um, some of you, this is actually not just your person. This is actually people. This, these are these are not just your soulmate person. Person, like I'm talking like your your soul family. There are people around you right now. You you've literally been trying to keep it together. Like some of you, this is a family thing. Like you've been trying to keep a family together or something like that. And you've been way too hard on yourself. You've been overexerting yourself. You've been putting your energy where it doesn't need to be. You need to take it back and do your thing. Chop wood. Yeah. Some of you have just been working too hard. Do you guys see? It's like a it's like a, a lion face or something in the broom, which is weird. But it's it's literally like you have been overexerting yourself. You have been working yourself to death, trying to make this situation work or whatever. And stop, stop. Some of you, this is about work. This is about actually like, you know, because we attract soulmates depending on what we need to learn in that particular moment. So some of you, you're in a job situation that needs to needs to end. Yeah. It's like you were looking at the situation as this is the end all be all. This is the place I want to be. And it's like you're trying to make the most of it, but you're starting to really see behind the mask of other people behind the facade of the actual situation. And you're realizing that it ain't what it seemed. And some of you, this is the twin flame thing. Okay. Some of you, this is the twin flame programming. It's time to shatter that. And, so, and I know I'm going to lose subscribers. I know that. Okay. Like... If you're not ready to shift out of that, if you want to stay in that little obsessive cycle, go find your twin flame coach. Go find somebody that you can, you know, have somebody tell you what you want to hear and whatever. I'm not here to do that, okay? If you're really ready to shift, if you're really ready to get out of that, if you're really ready to help yourself, come see me. I'm happy to help. That's what I'm here for, okay? But, I mean, some of you are just literally asking why, why, why over and over and over again. You're exhausting yourself and trying to figure out why this is happening to you, so on and so forth. Remember, it's not happening to you. It's happening for you, number one. Number two, you don't need to know the answer right now. Just do whatever your intuition is telling you to do. Go wherever you're guided to go. You will figure it out later. Release the knowing. Okay? Release the knowing. Everything's falling into place. Trust that. Has Source ever let you down? Like, when you truly listen to yourself, when you truly listen to your intuition... Has it ever let you down? Mm -hmm. and sometimes it's like we, we think we're in our intuition and then we make a decision and it's wrong. And we're like, my intuition was wrong. No, your intuition's always right. Okay. It's just when ego gets involved and twists it and then emotion gets involved and you follow the emotion instead of the feeling because they're two different things. Please understand. Following your feelings is not the same as following your emotions. When you follow your feelings, you're right. When you follow your emotions, eh, 50-50. Okay, think about it that way, all right? Practice knowing the difference between feeling and, in, and um, emotion, okay? Feeling is this, this usually comes first. And women, we feel it here. Here, men, they feel it in their arms. But women, we feel it here, and usually you feel it here first. It's like a, ooh, right? When your feelings get hurt, ooh, right here. And then that's when you start feeling it. You get sadness or angry or Whatever it is, that it usually takes a minute. It's delayed, right? That's because ego's not involved yet when it whoo, hits. Stop. Just when you feel it, go, whoo, hold up. Number one, is this mine? Number two, what is this feeling trying to tell me? Or, hey, let's see, you see something on TV and it, I don't know, and you're just, you're like, oh, I gotta go there. Go, just go. There's a reason, okay? Fam, yeah, seriously, though, you've taken on way too much. You're, you're just, you're... <laughs> Fem, this particular group of feminines, you guys, you have been taught that you have to take it on yourself. You have been programmed to believe that you have to do everything that yourself. You don't need anybody else. There's no shame in asking for help, number one. Just make sure you're asking for, from, asking for help from the right people. 
Okay. Some of you, it's not even that. Some of you, it's you're literally, you're at a point where you're ready to just say, I, I give up. But you feel like, you feel like if you give up, you're giving up. Does that make sense? Like you're quitting and that's not the same. Um... Some of you are afraid of what other people are going to think of you um, if you do that. Some of you are so used to being their rock for being their punching bag emotionally or physically, whatever, that you standing up for yourself is like, a, what are you doing? How dare you stand up for yourself? Well, tell them to get over it because it's time, fam. It's time. Like, it doesn't even matter. Like, some of you are just prisoned by the idea that, that you're going to have conflict. And that's the thing is, like, you are so afraid... To have conflict that you will sell your soul. <laughs> it's not funny. It's just, it's, I laugh um, because I'd rather laugh than cry. That's transmutation, by the way. That's exactly what that is. So if you don't know what transmuting and energy means. So if I see something sad or I see something depressing or something like that, I laugh. You're, you're, you're basically neutralizing the... You know I'm speaking truth when my computer decides to be a butt. But anyway, what I was trying to say is that, uh, you know, you don't, you don't have to be beholden to anybody else's ideals. You have to understand, okay? Um, taking responsibility for yourself is a big task, okay? But you are cut out for it, okay? Um, you don't have to worry about whatever people think of you. Some of you have been so afraid to stir the pot. Some of you have been so afraid to release these things because you don't want other people to see you as something that you're not. But in reality, what if you're just being who you actually are? What if what if the mask is not what you're becoming, but what you were? Okay? And what you're becoming is badass. Femme. Some of you are absolutely afraid to see have other people see you succeed. Um Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some of you have been living to other people's ideals. Uh, people have been placing on you what they want you to be or what they see you as, and so you embody that. Some of you strive to, to be what other people expect you to be. It's like they put you up on a pedestal and you, you do everything you can to, to do that, but then you, one wrong step, and you disappoint somebody because their expectations of you are more important than your expectations of you, apparently. Um, and then you go down this like negative spiral and then suddenly you're not good enough for anything. Yeah. Boom. There you go. Yeah. Mm -mm. And I, I, it's like puppet master, right? It's like puppet master. So again, like guys, um, no one has control over you, but you, you are sovereign within yourself. Okay. So release the anxiety. You are being protected. You are safe. That's a good one. That's a good one that uh, um, this collective, I think, really needs to embody, really needs to integrate. I am safe. I am safe. I am safe. I am safe in who I am. Okay? All right. All right, let's do feminine. I'm sorry, I said feminine, didn't I? Freudian slip. Masculine. Self-sabotage. Of course. Um, <laughs> what else is new? So masculine right now, I, I do feel definitely in a state of self-sabotage. Again, it's kind of, they're, they're mirroring mass or feminine right now, just in a more 3D way. It, it's external, not internal. So feminine is kind of going through like an internal struggle, obviously with the self-sabotage issue. And, and it's like, you know, wanting to save face in, in the um, face of adversity, as it were. Where masculine, it's like literally they're just sabotaging themselves financially. Like I feel some of them are, um, I say gambling, but I feel like taking unnecessary risks at the moment. Um, and, and, and some of it just has to do with their whatever it is they're dealing with. Some of their inner, inner wounding is coming up right now, but a lot of, yes, they are procrastinating. Um... Some of them I do feel that they, the, the procrastination actually has to do with their, um, I would say family life. I'm getting family life, possibly a job. Some of them are in situations that are just incredibly, incredibly, incredibly toxic. And they're just at this point 
where they know they gotta go they gotta go they have to like and i'm talking in the 3d like they know they gotta do it like they're getting all the cues some of them are being told to go some of them are losing their jobs some of them are whatever um and some of them it's like they've been procrastinating on letting go of the actual situation like some of them are um at, at i feel like some of them are actually maybe partaking in some um uh, toxic behaviors like um, addictions like drinking and, and, and things like that to kind of overcompensate, okay? Uh, but Source is trying to lead them down this other path. So see how they're kind of at a crossroads right now and they're like, I don't know which way to go. Um, but Source is trying to guide them here. They're, they're, they're kind of being like, look, again, this is happening for you, not to you. You need to understand that this is, this is going away so that you can focus on, on your next step because this is not where you're supposed to be. I'm trying to guide you to where you're supposed to be. So masculine, you need to have some courage here. Like don't don't let whoever or whatever is holding you back or trying to pull you back or trying to make you feel guilty or whatever. Don't don't let this sabotage you from moving forward in the path that you're supposed to go because I'm telling you this portal that's that's opening up, it's only going to be open for a little while. Okay? So you have a choice to make. Make the right one. Okay, make the right one. And stop stalling. Stop stalling. Because the more you stall, don't stall for too long because your, your opportunity will go away. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Some of them, they're afraid to make that next move because they know it's like they're going to have to come to terms. They're going to have to actually face themselves. Mm-hmm. Some of them, it is a feminine energy. It's a negative feminine energy. Or sorry, negative. I'm so sorry. Um, it's a it's a, a distorted feminine energy. Some of them, it's a it's a definitely a mentally uh, mentally uh, manipulative situation that they're dealing with here. Again, it could be a job. I'm getting a job mostly for them, but it could also be a family situation. It could be a mother. It could be a partner. It doesn't matter. It could even be the divine feminine. Um, but yeah, it's like. Again, the self-worth thing, they're, they're not, it's not that they don't feel good enough. It's almost like they feel like they don't have anything now. So whatever they're losing here, it's like they're, it was their identity. They don't know anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a lot of them are in, uh, like in hermit mode for sure. Like some of you, if you haven't had communication from your masculine or anything like that, this is why is because they, they don't want to deal with anything else. They have enough on their plate. They're, they're just, you know, they're trying to figure out how to get themselves out of this energy right now. And, and they just can't handle no offense, femme, but especially if, um, you know, some of you have been, um, I talked about this before, putting chains or putting cords on your masculine because you're not letting go. Some of you, the, these cords, they're not from the masculine, guys. They're from the feminine. You're putting them on your masculine. You're keeping them stuck because you're not doing your work. See how back and forth that goes? Okay, so stop putting yourself on masculine. Stop trying to control masculine. Let masculine get his shit together. But 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 masculine, you got to understand this is a mental game that you're playing with yourself right now. Stop playing those stupid games with yourself and just get your crap together for you. Like, stop stalling. Stop stalling. You're just sitting here in this energy of, I, I knew I need to, but I don't want to. Just stop. God, you know, just... I'm just saying, just, just let go. Just let it go. Yeah. Like they're just not motivated. This particular group of uh, masculine is just not motivated. Mm -mm. They're not ready to acknowledge your feelings. They're not ready to deal with their crap. And they're manifesting some of this negativity that's around them right now. They're very toxic at the moment. This particular group is very, very toxic. Okay. Yeah. They're just not, they're not ready to let it go. Okay, there's a lot of disappointment, uh, a lot of disappointment energy coming in here. Again, here you go. Here's the, there you go. Yeah, it's the devil energy. So yeah, some toxicity coming in here, guys. Um, just a refusal to acknowledge. Some are, some of them is just, they can't deal with their past. They, they just, they, um, they aren't ready to let it go because they don't want to acknowledge it yet. Does that make sense? You can't, you can't change something until you acknowledge that it exists. And that's where masculine's at, is at the acknowledgement stage, at the acceptance stage. They're not quite ready to accept 
the past or the things that have happened in the past or even forgive themselves for things that have happened in the past, um, you know, in order for them to move forward. But what the situation is by leaving them or, or going wrong or whatever it is that's happening in their situation, it's literally source saying, you got to let this go. Like this needs to go by hell or high water. This needs to go. You have a choice to make. You can either stay in this situation or you can go this way. But once that portal closes, whichever cho choice you chose, that's it. You, it sticks. Okay. And that's where the hesitation is coming in for masculine. Okay. All right. So I am going to get some messages from your person. Yeah, I am doubting everyone around me. Um, again, the masks are coming off, guys. Masks are coming off. I know spirit is guiding me. Distance is hard for me. So some of you, yeah, you, your masculine and feminine are just not aligned at the moment. You are my North Star. All signs point to you. Mm -hmm. And we will be together again. Okay. All right. I'm also going to get some messages from higher self. Yeah, let go of control. You are transcending limitations for sure. Let go of control. Let go of the stuff you can't control and control you. Okay. Yeah, boom. There you go. You're integrating your masculine and feminine energies because they're misaligned right now. But just within a few weeks, everything's going to kind of resolve. And then you're going to actually see why this is happening to you. Okay. You're going to understand. Yeah, mirror games obviously happening right now. Um, and there is no need to worry. Oh, my. Yeah, it's so easy to focus on the bad. So redirect your energy, transmute, use it as fuel, use it as fuel, transmute it, turn it positive and use it as fuel, okay? Time for rest, self-care, rejuvenation, and retreat. Again, Femme, you might want to take a nap. Been working a little hard. Okay. All right, let's get some uh, messages and advice from Source. All right. Okay, I don't know what that was about, but all right. Let's see here. Okay, you are very close to achieving your goals. So you're actually closer than you think. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when it gets darker, obviously, that's when, you know, um, that's when you know you're kind of at the end of something, when it gets really, really dark. Okay, but you got to go through the dark in order to see the light. Right? Makes sense. How are you going to know what light is unless you've been through the dark? Okay. Yeah, but prosperity lies ahead, for sure. Again, guys, this is happening for you, not to you. Okay? Please understand the difference. Time to give rather than take. And some of you, I mean, that's really where it's at. It's like you you have been, let's say, taking a lot of shit. But you have. You have been taking a lot of shit. Not saying it's time to give shit. <laughs> it maybe is time to give a shit. Okay? <laughs> About yourself. Um, adjustments are definitely required right now. And your commitment is being tested. Absolutely. Your commitment to yourself, really. Okay. All right. I'm going to end with some affirmations for you guys. And when I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. Okay. Ooh. My capacity to tune in to the energy of love. Gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up. The compassion I need when it's time to forgive. And the power I need when I'm lost. It's a good one. Okay. Yeah. I surrender to a power greater than me. Let it go, guys. Just let Source take this one, okay? My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. Agreed. Amen. Okay. And hope is the conduit for miracles. Okay. All right, guys. I really hope this has helped. So like I said, a lot of change is coming. Okay. So just be aware. Um, I may be posting somewhat sporadically because I really want to get my podcast going. Um, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. So I'll really be focusing on that. I'm really going to be focusing on my clients. Um, you know, I, I'm going to be trying to do some more free stuff on uh, YouTube and for my soul family. 
Guys, I, I really think a sense of community is really important right now. Okay, so if you haven't joined my soul family, definitely do that. You get a private forum. You can talk to each other, um, share things. You get free stuff from me every now and then. You get coupons. Um, you know, so it's, there's no catch. There's no catch. Okay. All right, guys. I hope this has helped. If it has, please like, share, subscribe. And have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.